Hello and welcome back to Meatball Craft. We're up to episode 8. You remember last episode we made the portal to the void. We can go through this. Uh, so we've got our own void dimension. So this episode I'm pretty keen to start setting up a base in here. I reckon it'll be pretty cool. The one thing I have noticed is that I think this copies whatever biome we're in in the overworld. So of course it's snowy here because that's the deal in the overworld. So I'm wondering if we should move this. Uh, so wherever we move this portal to the void is where it sort of makes our little middle base bit. So I've had a quick little look around and I feel like this is probably a pretty good spot. We're in a magical forest. Uh, it's not that far at all from our old base over there. Remember this will mostly house just our portal to the void dimension so it's, it's really not a big deal uh where we put this i don't think but this this biome seems pretty nice and um using my glider i noticed that it it's quite depending on where we are sometimes we can kind of get a bit of lift yeah see it can kind of push us um which could be could be kind of useful kind of nice magical forest why not so I'm gonna clear some trees out of this area here and then yeah, we'll place down our portal to the void and make a little shack. There we go, the most basic, boring house you've ever seen. Oh God, what have I done? This looks horrendous. Uh, but you know, it does the job and we can probably fix it down the line anyway. Houses our bed, it's pretty much the only thing. And the portal to the void, where we can build a base that will hopefully look a lot better than whatever I just made outside. So now that we have that little housing for our portal to the void world, I'd like to think about what blocks I'd like to use for building our base in the void world. Now, glass, obviously. I really like this bubble glass that you can get with the chisel. Uh, so I'll probably use a bunch of that. I'm thinking concrete is a pretty good thing to use for sort of the main building block. Probably not white. I'm thinking more like uh, probably gray. Yeah, I quite like this gray concrete uh, because I think concrete makes you run faster when you run on it. I'm pretty sure something like that, but I should be able to make this gray concrete anyway. It shouldn't be too bad and it's EMCable, so we can just get like absolute piles of this if we need it. So I'll get some gravel and sand and then we need gray dyes. I'll grab some ink sacks and probably some bone meal right here. Interesting that it's not em -seeable. It's quite interesting. Uh, but anyway, one each of these should give us grey dye. That we can teach the MC machine. And we can also craft some grey concrete powder. Which can be taught to the MC machine. And then all we need to do is place this beside some water. There we go turns into the proper concrete block. Uh, 
and we'll teach that to our transmutation table. So now we can grab as much grey concrete out of this bad boy as we need, which is great, grey, get it, I'm sorry, I'll leave. The other thing that I noticed was that the sky in the void dimension is really cool. Uh, they've got a really nice sky box in there. So with that, I was thinking of making these sky blocks. So these are blocks that you can place down and they'll just look like the sky. So you pretty much can hide things with them. It'll look like there's nothing there. It'll look like you're looking straight up at the sky, which I think will be pretty sweet. Especially useful to hide uh, cables and stuff. Um, but these are MCable too, which is so good. And to craft, they just need some endstone, glass, and eyes of ender. We haven't actually made any eyes of ender yet, but it's just eternalist fuel and ender pearls. So it's pretty straightforward. Really just need to transmute coal into the alchemical coal, and then that, of course, becomes the Mobius fuel. Which becomes the Eternalist Fuel. And this stuff isn't EMCable, which I'm surprised about. I could have sworn that it was back in the older versions of Project E. Or maybe it's just a custom mod pack thing. Either way, it's, it's all good. Uh, Ender Pearls. Yeah. Uh, these are EMCable, actually. So, I'll teach that to that. We need a couple of those because of course we just need to make one uh in stone i believe we found somewhere i'm trying to remember where maybe it was around like a beehive or something <laughs> i can't really remember uh and then just glass look at that sky block teach that to the thing then we need redstone and a stick course to make a redstone torch which we can actually teach this to I hadn't taught that to that yet and then skyblock redstone torch creates an inverted skyblock so you can see here if I place this here you can see through it as if there was nothing there which makes it really cool to be able to see the sky um it's still a block like it's still there we can't go through it or anything but it's just a visual visual thing cool to see the sky so I'm stoked that we can just EMC just like an absolute pile of these. It's gonna be so good. Uh, so between this and the gray concrete and the glass, I think that's enough to get started. I'm gonna take this transmutation tablet with me since we can pretty much just get everything from it. Uh, I will use our little ender ring prime to teleport home, which is of course now this ramshackle shack in the middle of the forest and we will head through to the void see what i mean about the skybox being cool though like we've got planets and stuff it's so nice it's so pretty i'm thinking our base as well will probably want to have a pretty big window on this bad boy just to kind of make the most of it it's been pretty good though um, now all this terracotta, uh, I think I will just change all this into concrete now actually, grey concrete. Ooh, yeah, looks like we definitely uh, run a bit faster on this concrete, which would be great. Oh, I know I'm going to fall off one of these days. Uh, so now that we've got our transmutation table here, we've got our starting little grey concrete spot. I'm thinking it might be time to head to the drawing board. So because we've got the portal in the middle here, I'm thinking this has got to be the center of our base. So if I extend this out a bit, both this way, probably even this way as well, and then both these ways too. So we have a sort of bigger platform in the middle. And I was even thinking we could even sort of cube this out and turn this into like a giant cube in the middle, you know? See where, see where I'm going? And then the walls of this can be made up of glass and then the sky block, which will of course show the sky. And if you see the area around me here, like the moon is here and is sitting this way. 
and then the sun of course is rising this way so if we have all of this or even at least this side and the the front side as glass and then sky blocks we'll be able to see great sunsets and and sunrises and then from there i'm thinking we can just sort of put stuff coming out the side um so whether we do a big pathway like that or even just a, a thin one closer to the middle here and we just kind of build everything out here both ways and then we could even potentially go in in front of this because we'll have sky blocks of course so we won't actually be able to see that uh, and we can do the same out this side have whatever we want coming out that way so this will be kind of the big central cube uh, i might even move the cube down yeah i might even move the whole thing down you know so that this platform is kind of actually in the center so this platform will be kind of at this level of the front that level of that side you know you get what i'm saying you get what i'm saying that would be the the middle there uh because then we can sort of hide underneath uh any sort of emmy controllers or whatever we want to do in the future there maybe even power generation underneath or up top and we can still have sky blocks if we want to cover stuff yeah i think that's a pretty good pretty good plan if you can decipher my terrible sketching uh, it's hard to know how much space we're going to need um for all our different multi-block machines and such but at least if we do this um i'll try to make it chunk aligned too and then we can just kind of expand it as we need to i mean it's a void world right we've got infinite space now all we gotta do is build this bad boy It was at this point that I realized that I should probably just make a bloody building gadget. I don't know why I didn't make it earlier. It would make this whole process just so much faster. I mean, we've literally got something to charge it up in, you know? Slowly, but it does charge it up. And there we go. Building gadget all charged up. This is, this is going to make it so much easier. I don't know what I was thinking doing it without this. Oh. Turns out I can't use the building gadget on the sky blocks anyway. <laughs> I should have used it on, you know, this part of it that <laughs> would have actually been useful, but I did notice though that we can make one of these unbreakable wands just with another building gadget, Nether Star, Golden Gods. And remember we got Nether Stars from all the intestines that we opened from the mob farm. So if I just make another building gadget, right? Uh, make sure not to use my fully charged one for this recipe and we can make a unbreakable wand Now the thing I want to see with this wand is I'll try it in here uh, Can we pick Ooh, Yeah, we can cool So this will make it much easier to place the sky blocks uh, You can see here. I've made a couple platforms uh I'd like to keep this pretty asymmetrical, so not do sort of the same on each side. And at the moment I'm thinking, you know, we can have one of these platforms for some of our machines and the other for the enchanting stuff we have. And I, I think we'll, we'll just stick with this for now. And then as we sort of have more things and, and build, need more things, we'll kind of build it out. These platforms are both chunk aligned as well. So they're in their own their own chunk, uh, which I'd like to start kind of getting used to doing. I'm not very used to, to doing it because I haven't really played any big mod packs like this before, but uh, if I can get into the habit of doing that, I think that'll, that'll save us heaps in the long run. Uh, so time to play some of these sky blocks around. I'm just gonna place them around pretty much on the outside here so that from the inside, uh, we don't see any of the base really, we just see just see open sky and glass. Should be good.
<laughs> this really is quite confusing. I like it though. So the idea is, of course, with all these skyblocks up, uh, we see nothing of the platform that's out there from the inside. It just looks like glass leading straight out to sky. <laughs> and then from out here, it's even weirder because there's no glass. It just looks like a straight cube of nothing. I don't know. It's just, that's weird. It's real weird. I like it though. It's cool. <laughs> I almost, almost feel like I should remove the glass. Like this almost looks cooler. You know? I'll see how it goes. I'll put, I'll put them all on and then we'll, we'll see how we, how we feel. And look at that sunrise. This is why we wanted our uh, box made out of skyblocks. Look at that. I am definitely starting to think though that uh, removing the glass might look even better because look at this. How good does that look? <laughs> it's so weird. Oh, I'm noting a bit of frame rate drop, so this might have to be the uh, limit of skyblocks we have. Or maybe it'll just be temporary. <laughs> but it looks pretty cool as it is now. Uh, anyway, I think that's probably about where I'm going to wrap up this episode. Uh, in between episodes, I'll probably do just a bunch of shifting stuff around over to here. Uh, I might do a little bit more sort of work around some of the edges here because, I mean, it's rough as at the moment. Rough as. Uh, let me know what you think of of the new base idea. Um, I'm really quite worried that these skyblocks, although they look so cool, will just uh, kind of kill performance a bit. Let me know if you think that that I'll I'll need to need to get rid of them down the line uh, if you've ever used them before or know if that's going to be an issue. Uh, either way, thanks for watching, especially if you made it this far. And I'll see you in the next episode.